What's up guys, we're back with another Alan Wake uh, America's Nightmare episode. I have to secure the primary pipes, let's do that. Ooh, there's a manuscript here. I'll read them later. Can I climb over here? No, I can't. Damn it! There was something dark coming, I heard it. What the hell? Holy shit! Holy fuck! There's so many of them! Let's reload. Alright, good to go. These beings hate the light, am I correct? You should be able to turn on the lights and secure Doctor, the area that me? way. I think we're good to go. Alright, I'll start looking for the signal. Please head back. Oh shit. No fun. I guess they didn't like that. Which way? Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Let's run. So many of them. Open the door, bitch. Open it up. Holy shit. Whoa, there was clues. Oh, what's up? It's working. Please come up here. Oh man, I'm dead tired, girl. Find the signal? Yes, I don't think it's quite the same thing we had um, the last time. Still, we're definitely picking it up. Are we getting the complete signal now? I'm afraid not. Take a look at it yourself. I'm printing out a hard copy now. I'd like to ask you a question or two before that, though, if you don't mind. Fuck that. Another printout. <laughs> Another signal fragment. The message is still not complete. But it's another piece of the weapon he has built against his adversary. Mere words on a piece of paper, but in the right hands, it they will hold, hold back, back the, the darkness. darkness. Didn't have time to talk to that girl, you know. We have to go to the drop-in theater. So let's do this all over again. God damn it. Oh, 
The last time the man came to the drive-in, it did not end well. He hopes to avoid that fate this time. He hopes that what he has brought with him to this place is enough. What did I brought with me then? There's, uh... Ugh. Serena's probably out of her mind again. But I'm gonna need that key so I can get the power back on. Where is the other manuscript? I saw one. Oh, it's probably inside here. You again? I'm really just here to get the keys so I can get the power back on. You want to hold me down? It's okay. I know you like that. Yeah, I'll just grab the keys. I could be like your wife. Little wifey. <laughs> Waiting at home for hubby. Or you could be the mailman. Or the neighbor. I'm already married to someone who isn't <sighs> crazy, thanks. I'm just gonna go and get the power back on. Aww. Look, I may or may not be back. I have the access code to the booth already, so once the power is on... You should totally come see me. We could have fun. You know. We'll see how it goes. You should sit down or something. Try to stay calm. I was about to do the weather, but uh, I see we have a caller. Uh, hey, you're on the air with Eddie. What's up? Hey, Eddie, it's Ricky. You talked about fate before. You think about that a lot? Not a lot, to be honest, but uh, I take it you do. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Any conclusions you'd care to share, uh, Ricky? Fuck you, Ricky. Are you getting it yet, genius? Holy fuck! Die! Son of a dog. Trading manuscripts. Hmm, alright, let's restore the power. Shit! Oh, that was a close one. <laughs> Holy f crap. Fucking psycho. I want to talk about Alice. Fuck that. Well, our wife, really. Just my wife soon. Don't worry. I'm not going to treat her like the others. She's special. If I wanted her dead, she would be. I've been around for a while now. So talented. You haven't seen her new work, of course. Oh, it takes my breath away. Really, she's that good. Oh. Did you know that I've got a wedding ring, too? We're that similar. She's seen me a couple times, you know. I've let her catch glimpses. She thinks she's imagining things, of course. She thinks you're dead. It might as well be. I mean, even if you manage to keep surviving, you'll be in my trap forever. So I'll go to her. It'll be an amazing moment. Oh my God, you're alive. 
I'll be the good, loving husband for as long as I can stand it. She'll love it. <sighs> and then, one day, somehow, it'll happen. Maybe I'll slip up, and she spots something, or maybe she just starts running her mouth. And then, I'll do it. <clears throat> it's gonna be sweet. Ooh. He's gonna kill your wife, bro. There they are. A hamster in a wheel. Go ahead and keep running for all the good it'll do you. They're all down. Damn it. Alright, let's do this again. Manuscript page over there. Oh, pick it up, bro. Alright. Only have to switch the middle one. Damn it. Those creepers are annoying. Let's go. Enter the projector building. Through here. Through here. Let's heal up. Let's just run for it. It'll be coming. If you die, you lose. If you quit, you lose. If you make it to the end of the loop, you still lose. <laughs> Sucker. Sometimes it's just really better to just run for it. Oh damn it.
I should probably just destroy those fountains, right? Oh, damn it, look. Scare them, Bobby. There it is. Whoa. That worked out fine, I guess. This is the second one. I guess it is. There's another one over there. But they change places. Fuck me, fuck me, get it, get it, get it. Oh yeah, I got it. Pew! Good thing. I got him. Yeah, the buddy. champion of light knows that the time itself is about to end. At least for him. He can feel the dead end rushing towards him. But there is time to act. Incomplete or not, he has the weapon. I don't have the whole thing. But maybe it's enough. Maybe it is. Maybe it's enough. We'll see. Yeah, in the time. Yeah, here we go again. Hmm. It was like this. I think there was a film nor poster visible. Do I have to put this off? <coughs> hmm. Not really sure what to do. Yeah, I did it. No, it's not enough. Here we go again. <laughs> You're trying to be cute, aren't you? What are you up to? It's a waste of time, buddy. You should just lie down and die. Let me take over. This is the only thing you've got coming to you. From here to eternity. No matter how many times you come back. <laughs> Time folds back on itself. Again. His senses scream as the very impossibility of what is happening assaults them. But the Champion of Light endures. So we're back at the start again. Damn each it. time he gets a little closer. Each time another detail falls into place. Now the trap works against the Herald of Darkness. I need a freaking checkpoint, please. Yeah. 
There's a manuscript here somewhere. There it is. Alright, let's find the checkpoint. Yeah, alright guys, this was the end of this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you at the next episode. Oh wait, how many times do we have left? I don't know, I can see. Freaking telephone is crashing. So yeah, let's just read a few manuscripts. In Bright Falls, I was constantly under attack by birds that were more shadow than flesh and feathers. But this is an evolution. Some of the Taken were actually capable of turning into a flock of birds to escape my attacks and turning back into human form to make surprise attacks. True story. Hmm. Back. Observatory. The pressure of success got to me. My wife Alice was the sole thing in my life that anchored me. Suddenly it wasn't enough. I couldn't write anymore. I distracted myself with wild parties Holy and whatever shit, trouble the telephone I could is like up. crashed. I wallowed in the black drama screen, of my nothing life, there. sure that Alice would stick with me even though she didn't sign up to be the lifeline of a tortured artist. It was my dumb luck she's not the type to give up. All right, let's restart the telephone. All right, go back. So some more spiders. The spiders are really the work of the enemy. They're a side effect. A part of the dark place's less significant fauna that has managed to slip through the opening I made when I arrived. Less an animal than an idea that has assumed the form of an animal. Makes them no less dangerous. But at least they're a little easier to deal with. The darkness doesn't protect them like the Taken. And thus they can be destroyed by either light or bullets right away. Cool. All right, so Stories come things. naturally to us. We can't help it. There are many different worlds, many competing realities within our heads, fueled by books, television, even barely remembered childhood tales. There's an endless supply of fictional concepts more familiar to us than anything or anyone real. We have a far greater connection to the fictional characters we know and love than the random people we pass on the street. Our destinies and inspirations are shaped by lies, Myths and fables. Oh damn! That's some hard, hard uh, piece of a uh, freaking manuscript, bro. Let's read another when one. When Dr. Rachel Meadows got the call from Michael, telling her to hurry to the observatory, she didn't waste any time. It had been a nice party. She'd had a good time, but her social life would always play second fiddle to the mysteries of space. Michael never showed up, of course. He pulled over at the wrong rest stop. She never even thought about him at the time. The phenomenon in the sky above her was too fascinating. The film noir poster reminded me of Alex Casey, the detective's cool exterior never cracking even with the gun pointed in his face. In the back room, all the lights had been turned off, except for the lone spotlight which illuminated the bright red fire extinguisher on the wall. To change the world, you must craft a blueprint for the new reality. Any work of art will do, as long as it's a genuine act of creation. That's what the energies of the dark place respond to. The results may be subtle and perplexing, or far-ranging and momentous. My area of expertise, the written word, gives much more precise results than music or interpretive dance would, for instance. But words can be extremely dangerous. What you define may become reality, but so can that which you imply, even if you don't realize you're doing so. Mm. Uh... For Serena Valdivia, burning the midnight oil was more of an exception than a rule. A procrastinator and a perfectionist, she often worked when she wouldn't be disturbed. Tonight was especially important. The film festival would open tomorrow, and there was still so much to sort out. It wasn't that the work hadn't been done. She just didn't feel like she had completely mastered everything yet. Alrighty guys, we're all the manuscript I had to read, so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I will see you at the next episode. Bye. -bye.